having a dog means I'm always going to have dog fur all over myself. I'm trying to look presentable. I'm trying. Okay. Uh, let's get on with the math. So, uh, looking for a cheat. A real easy way when your teacher asks you uh, to compare two fractions and to figure out whether, uh, or to figure out, <laughs> to figure out which fraction is bigger than the other or whether they're equal. Well, there's a really, really easy way. The key to all of this is to make sure that the denominators are the same. If you have that, you've got it. All right. I'll give you an example using a really easy problem. If we're looking at one fourth and comparing that to three fourths, well, obviously, since the denominators are the same, it makes it really easy to see which one's bigger. Uh, if you take something and split it up evenly into four parts, if you have three of them, it's going to be more than if you have one of them. So three fourths is going to be greater than one fourth. Pretty simple, right? Okay. But it definitely gets a little bit harder if we're talking about something like five sixths and comparing that to, say, two thirds. If we have that, in this case, we have two different denominators and we have to do something. Well, here is where the trick comes in. All you have to do is look at one fraction and multiply both its numerator and its denominator by the denominator of the other fraction. So in this case, we're looking at 5 sixths, and we're just going to take that 3, the denominator on the other side, and multiply it times both the top and the bottom. So what is 3 times 5? Well, that's 15. And 3 times 6 is 18. We got one fraction. Let's do the other one. Um, if we uh, look now at 2 thirds, and multiply both the top and bottom by the denominator of the other side. In this case, that's 6. We're going to multiply 6 times 2, which is 12. And then we're going to multiply 6 times 3, which is 18. And just by doing that, both the left fraction and the right fraction have a denominator of 18, and we can easily see that 15 over 18 is greater than 12 over 18. All right, uh, we can do it with one more pair of fractions, something maybe a little bit more difficult. Let's say we're talking about here uh, 4 sevenths, and we're comparing that to 5 ninths. We're going to do the exact same thing. Let's focus on the left fraction here, 4 sevenths. Um, and we're going to take the denominator of the other fraction, being a 9 in this case, and we're going to multiply it times both the numerator and the denominator. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 7 is 63. Great. Let's do it with the other one. Focus on 5 ninths. And we're going to multiply it times the denominator of the other fraction which is a seven in this case. Seven times five is 35, and seven times nine is 63. And just like that, we have two equivalent fractions, one being 36 over 63, the other being 35 over 63, both the same denominator. You can easily see that 36 is greater than 35, so the left fraction is greater than the right fraction. That's it for today. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, look me up on my website. Uh, I'm Adam Reich at Wonderful Tutor. Check me out, wonderfultutor.com. See you in the next episode. That's it.